Hello you guys, welcome back to the vlogs. I hope you're all doing super well. I'm in a very sunny Soho right now. I'm going to meet Sammy and Avery at Butler, which is like one more minute walk away. And we are gonna do some spring outfits and then we're going to a really fun little store pop-in. So I can't wait to take you guys along. Make sure you're subscribed. We're here. I feel like we were just at Butler, but there's no harm in going multiple times. This place is absolutely amazing. Cloudy Donuts with Avery. Hi. In, are we technically in Nolita or are we in Soho? In Nolita. Um, and we're gonna go in and pick out some donuts this morning. Mm -hmm. So excited. And it is literally the cutest place. I've ever seen. I'm getting blown over by the wind. We've started this vlog on a bit of a chaotic note. So now that we're back and settled into the apartment, Welcome back to the channel, you guys. This morning I went to meet Sammy and Avery to take a couple of spring outfit photos and then Avery and I went to a donut shop that we were very kindly invited to. So Sammy was gonna come with us, but she needed to hop on a call for work. So she headed home earlier than us and we popped into the donut shop before they opened. We got to sample some of their donuts and they just took some like videos and photos for Instagram for their account. We took pictures for ours and the place as you guys saw is stunning inside it is this parisian very like calming and beautiful space and the donuts are even prettier so i want to quickly show you guys and by the way i also have a coffee this is just a little trader joe's cold brew in my cute little mug because when i was taking photos of the outside of the donut shop I had my coffee like balancing on top of my box of donuts and it slid off and like fell on the ground and it cracked so I like ran it to the garbage can on the corner of the street but I lost like a third of my coffee so it's a good thing I got a big one today but we actually got to meet the founder when we were there she was the sweetest most like accommodating person ever and they made up some beautiful I don't want to like ruin these boxes of donuts you guys would have seen a clip already but we've got a rosé I think it was called like berry rosé and Avery had this one she said it was amazing this is a vanilla espresso and you guys this is in Soho so when you go to Soho and you want a little sweet treat definitely stop in here I cannot recommend them enough the donuts are insane I had this one this is like the vanilla bean twist and it was it like melted in my mouth. These are amazing. The founder is amazing. I love supporting businesses in which like the owners are just like really humble and lovely people. And yeah, so the space is stunning. The donuts are amazing. And if you want a little treat, maybe you're gonna grab a slice of pizza in Soho. And then if you wanna grab something afterwards, this is a wonderful place. And yeah, I absolutely loved it. It was such a great experience. And then I stopped into the Polen store because I was working at Butler for a little bit and then I was heading home. And the Polen store just so happened to be open. And I was like, I know exactly what I wanna look at, so let me just pop in quickly. I looked at the Syme, I think that's how they pronounced it. It's C-Y-M-E bag. And in my head, I was like, I want the small one. It's gonna fit a laptop, all of this stuff, just based on the photos that I've seen. And it actually was a lot smaller than I thought. So I looked at both sizes. I asked them if they had both and they did. So I don't know. I'm thinking of adding that bag to my collection just because it's a leather tote, which I don't have any of. Yeah, I don't have any like plain black leather totes and I feel like it's very practical for going to the office and putting my laptop inside. It's practical for, you know, in the summer times when I'm shooting, that bag would fit a second outfit inside of it as long as I'm not changing my shoe. Actually, no, I think a pair of shoes would fit in there too. So it's just a more like polished and elevated tote bag that I really want to have in my wardrobe and I've just been looking at it for the past probably two or three months. So I didn't buy it because I want to think about it now that I've seen both sizes and I kind of like 
thought I was gonna want the small one, but then I was leaning toward the large size, but I didn't want to just get it because I was in there. But I almost did. So I'm thinking about that, but I will obviously update you guys if I end up getting it at any point. But so that was my morning and now we're back. I am working right now. It's Good Friday today, I forgot to mention, for Catholic Easter. I don't celebrate this Easter. Well, I do celebrate it because my dad's actually Catholic, my mom's Greek Orthodox, and I'm Greek Orthodox. So our Easter is gonna be in three or four weeks, I think. So I'm gonna celebrate with my dad and then also with my boyfriend's family. And then in a few weeks, we'll have Easter again. But today's Good Friday. It's very, very quiet at work. A lot of people take their floating holiday for Good Friday because we get every other holiday off if you're Catholic. So. Um, I've gotten two emails so far and I've been signed on for like an hour So I'm glad that I'm home because I have a lot of housekeeping to do the front hallway of our apartment is absolutely Like ridiculous. I need to clean that ASAP. I've already cleaned the bathroom I started in the living room the kitchen's fine But like there are just things everywhere Especially our bedroom has like all new and spring stuff that I have to put away and I just haven't gotten around to it yet So we're gonna do that before I go home today get everything tidy so that we come back to a nice and clean space. So since I last chatted to you guys, I have been working and there was a bug in my coffee. <laughs> um, yeah, so we have a bit of a gnat problem because someone on our floor is not being very tidy in their apartment and we've been dealing with these for... Just got another one. We've been dealing with these for the past probably like five or six days. In the past, we've gotten like one or two a day when we've been working from home. So like throughout the entire day, we've maybe seen like two. And then over this week, it's gotten so much worse that it's like disgusting. And so we talked to management about it. They said that it's due to a building or a, an apartment on our floor. And so it's kind of like getting into other, I'm like, what does your apartment look like? And I usually say like to each their own, but like that's actually gross. If you have something in your apartment that's causing there to be bugs, you need to like get that situation under control because now everyone on the floor is being affected by it and it's actually crazy and I cannot believe I didn't tell you guys about this, but I actually don't think I've been vlogging since it's gotten bad. So um, yeah, I was just enjoying my little cold brew and I took a sip. I was talking to my sister on the phone and there was just a little guy swimming in there and um yeah so we have the exterminator coming on thursday to like spray the apartment i guess we tried apple cider vinegar in these like mason jars and it caught some of them but not enough there's another i didn't get it but i'm actually getting pretty good at like literally grabbing them out of the air <laughs> um not that that's a talent that i want to possess but here we are Anyway, I was gonna show you guys my outfit because I haven't, you know, said anything about it yet. And I actually really like it, considering I've been having a little bit of a hard time dressing for spring lately because I just feel like I'm in this in-between kind of weather. And I'm like, what the heck do I wear? And so if you guys are feeling the same way and need some inspiration, hopefully this is helpful. But I have my vest on from Kukai. This is one of that I showed you guys in the last vlog when I wore it out, but I just layered it underneath my black speckled blazer from Nasty Gal. So it kind of looks like I have a piece of tailoring underneath, which I really like. I was gonna do um, like a plain black blazer over the top, but I thought the speckle would look cool with it. But if you just have like a normal vest, it doesn't have to be like this exact one, but I do like the idea of doing like a tailored vest underneath a blazer just to create some layering, but then also it's freezing outside. So this kind of is a little bit practical two and then my pants are linen and they're white and we're very far from memorial day but honestly i don't really follow that rule and i liked the way that the white kind of brought out the light tones of the blazer so it's kind of a plain black and white look as the base but then throwing the blazer over the top kind of ties it all in together and my belt is just my little cassandra belt from ysl this is one that I like to wear with like spring and summer looks just because it's a little bit daintier and with this like really lightweight material I wanted to do something that was a little bit more delicate than my regular like thicker one. So that's the outfit. I wore my rebag bag that I need to actually return today. So I have to go to the post office and I need to go to FedEx. 
and then I'm gonna get myself all organized to go home. I'm trying not to bring a lot of stuff though. I just need an Easter outfit, which I was actually gonna wear this and just wear like my little bow heels and call it a day because I don't feel like bringing an entire like heaping bag home. So I think we're just gonna bring my little like tote bag and pack this and then an outfit for tomorrow because I'm gonna be going to, what's it called? I wanna have like a whole day of going to little like home stores. So Home Sense, Home Goods, maybe Marshalls and just like see if there are like little tiny things here and there. Cause I haven't gone in a while and I'm getting like a craving to go home shopping, but yeah, so I'm gonna pack this and I'm gonna get myself ready to go to the post office because these are like returns that I've had to do for a very long time now. So yeah, let's get that done. Okay, packages are all ready to go, but before I leave, I wanna have one of these donuts because I am a little bit hungry, but it's not quite, actually it is lunchtime, so I, pro I probably shouldn't have this, but now that I've opened it, I can't, I can't not have one. So I think, Honestly, I feel bad eating another one of these, but it was so good that I, we're just gonna continue on this little journey. This is the vanilla bean sugar. I don't remember what the name of it is, but it's absolutely delicious. It's just like a plain sugar donut, but the way that they cook these or bake them is insanely good. It almost tastes a little bit like a Zeppeli, but not like, you know how Zeppelis taste like really, really greasy? It tastes like a Zeppeli without being like super greasy. This is exactly what I needed. After the whole like bug in the coffee situation, we are on the up and up. Ignore the mess behind me. I actually cleaned this whole side of the room that has not been cleaned probably in like two months and I'm so excited about it. All of the knitwear is put away. We no longer have a knitwear chair, if you guys remember that, because I feel like I was just using it as an excuse to throw clothing on the chair and it wasn't becoming a stylistic thing. It was becoming a mess. So all of that was put away. The stuff behind me is like spring stuff that I need to figure out where I'm going to put because we need to make room for it. So I'm gonna do that when I get back on Sunday evening. But I just went down and got this package that I have been waiting for the arrival of all day. And I have some things from Adenola. You guys know that this is my favorite workout brand ever. Well, I have a few, <laughs> but this is definitely top Top three, I would say. And I'm just so excited about these pieces because they have a new collection that I was so in love with and I have a couple of things from that. And then I also have some other items to complete a set that I own, which is actually what I'm wearing right now. And then just another color that I wanted to try. So really excited about this. We've got number one the matching sweatpants to the sweatshirt that I'm wearing right now. So I got this because I kind of wanted to test it out and see if I'd wear it as much as my Anina Bing one because let's be honest, that one's really expensive. It looks almost the same to this and I just wanted to see like if I really do need to keep it and I've decided to sell it. So I've worn this one a ton and I wanted to get the matching joggers. So I got these that just say Adenola here and same color gray. They do a really nice like marled gray and I can't wait to wear this as a set. It's so cozy and maybe I'll wear this home honestly because it's so windy outside that I just wanna wear something comfy. And then I'm also gonna bring some of the stuff home to wear tomorrow during the day because number one, I wanna work out while I'm home. And the other thing is that I'm probably gonna just be doing like an errands day. So I wanna wear something that's cute, put together, but not like 
you know, fully getting dressed. And I describe Adenola as my favorite brand for number one, workout clothes. But these are the workout clothes that I transition into lifestyle wear and I'll wear the stuff. I know that it's just like a normal sweatshirt and a normal workout set. I just feel like they're more elevated lifestyle than some other clothing brands that are like solely and like strictly for working out. So I got this set next and I have loved this little white piping detail since they released it. They released it, it sold out, and now it is back in stock. So the branding is just like super small, minimal. The materials are amazing. For size reference, I got the sports bra in a small, and I think the leggings in a small as well. Yeah, so a small in the top and bottoms. I also wear an extra small sometimes in the leggings. And then I also got this little crisscross black one because I have a pair of black leggings from Adenola, but if you guys have been around since I placed my first ever order, I got the leggings, ordered a black top, and then it ended up not being in stock. So I never replaced it, and I saw this crisscross style, and I thought that it was really flattering. It kind of makes this whole like v-neck up here and like v-shape at the bottom part of it too, and I think it's really cute. So very excited about this stuff. And then the last thing is a sweatshirt. This is the cocoa bean color and I got the sweatshirt because I wanted to test out and see if I would like the color because sometimes, I mean anytime you're shopping online it's hard to know whether it's going to look the same in person as it does online and this is their dark brown and I'm in love with this. I think I need to get the joggers or I think they have um, like shorts versions of the joggers, like sweat shorts, so maybe I'll get that for spring but this is a winner. I have this in black and I wear it nonstop, so I'm excited to have another color that I can kind of throw into the mix. So that's everything I got. Very excited about it. I now need to get dressed. I've packed my bag. There are a couple other things that I need to throw in here before I leave, just like, you know, computer technology, all that kind of stuff, my work computer, and then we'll be on the road to New Jersey. So I'll see you guys there, and I'll probably pick up the vlog tomorrow morning. Happy Saturday from the suburbs, you guys. If anyone has been here for a while on my channel, you would know exactly where I am because I used to film every single video in this room. It was my haul videos, my, what else did I film? When I started to vlog, I was like mainly in my room and I was like, it was probably so boring just to have me like sit in my room, like the different areas of my room for an entire vlog. Um, but we're up. We've had a very slow morning. It's around nine, I think it's like 9.30. I just uploaded a Zara and H&M video. And then I also am uploading a vlog. So lots of videos going onto the channel. I'm still in this Adenola set. I traveled home in this last night. Got in my pajamas, obviously, when I went to bed, and then I put it on straight away this morning. And we're gonna just get the day going. So I'm gonna go make a smoothie, I think, because I'm trying to have healthy breakfasts. Breakfasts? Breakfast? I don't know why I said that weird. <laughs> um, but we don't really have much going on today. I desperately need to get a pedicure, so I think I'm gonna get that. And then we're gonna do a coffee run, just like, nice, chill, Saturday morning things. You guys, it's been a few hours since I last picked up the vlog. I went to get a coffee with my dad. We went to get a car wash after that. And then I went and visited my grandpa for a little bit. And then we got sandwiches, came home, had lunch. I also changed my flight for Aruba because originally I was supposed to be on a 9.20 flight and then it got moved a couple of times and then it was going to be 11.20 and I was supposed to get into Aruba at like 4 p.m. 
And I just felt like if I'm taking an entire day off, I wanted to kind of get there earlier. Not that I'm gonna have like loads of time to go and sit outside. Obviously people are going to be arriving throughout the day. And so I just wanted to get there earlier and my dad was looking at flights with me and he was like, you can switch to number one, Newark airport instead of JFK is always the move. And originally I was going with Christina, who's the bride and my friend Jenna, but I ended up seeing that the flight opened up for Newark and it originally wasn't. So I was like, you know what? It would be really fun to go with everybody, but I'm just gonna switch to Newark because it's like a 25 minute ride as opposed to like an hour and 40 minutes. And we were also getting back at like rush hour traffic time when we come back on Monday. And I was like, that just sounds like the worst. So I looked into switching it. It was free to completely switch. So now I'm going out of Newark and I'm leaving at 8 a.m. on the way there. So that's fantastic and I'm so happy about that. Um, but I forgot to show you guys everything that I got from Home Sense and Home Goods yesterday. I think I also forgot to tell you that I went. Because I think I maybe filmed a couple of clips on my phone, but I think the quality was pretty bad, so I don't think I'm gonna put them in. But I did go with my mom last night. Basically, she was like, Oh, you don't want to go to Home Goods on a Saturday, like it's gonna be a zoo. So instead, Last night we had pizza night, as per usual, and then we left at like 7.30 p.m. to go on this extravaganza, and I actually found some really great stuff. So the first thing is actually kind of big, so I'm gonna go get it. So I wanna show you guys this first because I wanna get it out of the way, first of all, and not have to hold it up, but I went to Home Goods first. They had this mirror, and it was broken, so I was devastated because I thought it actually looked really nice. And Home Goods, Home Sense, Marshalls, like all those places kind of stock the same brand sometimes. And so we went into Home Go or Home Sense and they had a lot less stock overall and more furniture. And they did have the mirror, the exact same one. You guys are propped up on a kitchen chair right now. But they had the same mirror. It's like this natural, I don't know if you can tell, but it's like this natural wood. It's like reflecting the light now. Um, but it's this natural wood border and it's pretty big. $30, you guys. I feel like that's an insane price. You can't even get something like this at Target for that amount of money. And my mom was like, where are you gonna put that? And we have like a really long entryway hallway. So that's where I'm thinking of hanging it up so that like before we leave, we can kind of like check ourselves. But. I don't know, I'm like, it's a $30 mirror. It looks really nice. It's a nice shade of wood. And you guys know I like to have like varying shades of wood along with like different neutrals. And I feel like it was a good find. And you just kind of have to get the stuff when you see it because it might not be there the next week. So that was a really good find. I'm laughing because the other thing I did, and I feel so adult for this, but I bought this entire pile of cards and Honestly, this may have been the most fun part of going to this place because these were things that I didn't need, but you always need cards. So we've got some wedding cards. This one is a couple of wiener dogs kissing. One has a veil, one has a little top hat. I thought that was super cute. We've got, this is my favorite one and they had a few. I don't know why I didn't get more than one, but this is a wedding card. It just says congrats on it with these nice florals. And I feel like for a summer wedding, not that the card matters, but I thought that was adorable. We also have, <laughs> I'm all, oh, this is just crazy. Like I might be a psycho, but we're not really sure. I bought three baby shower, <laughs> baby shower cards. We've got one that says you won't need a new purse for a while. And it's just this like really cute diaper bag. And I thought that that was, Adorable, like how do you not buy that? The other one is this one, which could be like for a baby boy, but it says so small, so sweet, so loved. And it's this little nighttime vignette with an elephant. So stinking cute. Another one, hello baby. I just, guys, I can't stand it. And they're $3 each, which is kind of a lot. Um, Trader Joe's has ones for a dollar, but I feel like they're kind of, not as great, I feel like they are a dollar for a reason. Whereas these have like little pop outs on them. I got some happy birthday cards. So this one I thought was really pretty with the flowers and it has like gold specks in it. 
this one. So you guys know I already have Polly's birthday card for this year, but I got him another one because this is what his cat at home looks like. And it says, I was told there would be cake. And it's like this cat looking all grumpy, which is just funny because you know, cats personalities, we know that they're like, they'll accept love if they want it, but if they don't want it, they're like, please go away. <laughs> Um, and then I also got our anniversary card. <laughs> so our anniversary is in November, which is crazy. Um, wait, was that card that I showed you guys for our anniversary or for his birthday? I think it's for his birthday. So this is supposedly a Valentine's Day card. Damn it. It says happy Valentine's Day in the middle, like on the inside of the card. I did not notice that. But this is gonna be our Valentine's Day card, apparently. It says we go together like, and then it just has like a milk and cookie little thing, which I thought was adorable. And then the last one is a Mother's Day card. So it's just this little bunny that, and the balloons say, love you, mom. So this is gonna be from my sisters and I. So that's a lot of cards. I think I got one at the first place, and then I got like eight at the next store. And then I also got another thing, which I, just like immediately got transported to my childhood, but this is for, to put with like a baby shower gift coming up. I love the way that books, well, obviously you're gonna read them to the baby, but I love the way that they look in a nursery too. So I got the Tales of Peter Rabbit, and it's just all of these stories that I had read when I was a baby. And Well, I didn't read them when I was a baby, they were read to me, and then I read them as I got older, and I just thought that this book was so sweet and adorable. So again, not sure who in my life is having a baby, but we have some baby shower cards, some baby shower gifts, and then I also got some scrub daddies. These sponges work really well, and they were three for $8. Couldn't pass that up. We've also got, and I'm just gonna unwrap one of them, but I saw these bowls, and I thought that they were so chic and adorable. They are these like scalloped, kind of cream colored bowls. I thought these were so beautiful and I was like, how? Then I saw the price and I was like, how? $4 for this and I got two of them. So these are gonna be like breakfast, like yogurt bowl type of bowls. And then also just like, I'm picturing like fruit in the summertime if we're like having a breakfast and we wanna put like blueberries, strawberries, like cut up fruit inside of these. I think that's gonna look really nice and have a pretty good use even though we have bowls, but we always like run out of dishes. So I'm glad that I got some extra things. Then we've got some candlesticks. So you guys know that I got those green ones from that little store next to Shampers. And I just got some neutral colored ones. These are like a taupey color, not taupe. Those are like grayish. And then I also got this color just like cream ones, because I have those green ones that I love, but I don't wanna burn those all the time. I kinda wanna burn those like when we're doing a full like hosting tablescape situation. And so I thought that these would be nice to have in between. It's $8 for six of them, which is like kind of expensive. I'm like, why are candles that literally, they're just plain. They don't have any glass packaging or anything. And they're so expensive. Sorry, I've been like sitting where my head is cut off this entire time. And the last thing that I got, is an olive oil bottle because I was telling you guys that I don't like the way that the olive oil looks in the water bottle that we have from Greece and I don't like the way that the Trader Joe's one looks. So I just got this cream porcelain one and it has an olive branch kind of embossed into it or it's raised on top of it and I thought that this was so beautiful and minimal but it's gonna fit the entire bottle of olive oil in here so this is going to be our new dispenser and we just finished our last bottle of olive oil so we're switching over to a new one so i'm gonna pour it in here get this all washed up and everything and yeah i'm really excited to use that i think it's gonna look really nice on the countertops and obviously serve a really great purpose i said that i'm not the type of person yet that's gonna take all of like my food out and put it into canisters and stuff like in the cabinets but we'll start with the olive oil and see if it's that big of a pain in the butt and if not, maybe we'll convert. Cause I know that it keeps your food like a lot fresher if you put it inside of canisters. I just don't think that we have enough stuff or like that it's necessary yet. So anyway, that is the Home Goods and Home Sense haul. I honestly love going to these stores because there's a lot to sift through. Obviously everything's not going to be 
my style. So I just kind of like taking my time looking through everything and picking things that make sense for my like homeware style and just finding little things here and there. I don't go there with the pressure of being like, I need to buy an entire like dish set or I need to get cute little bowls for this or that or whatever it is. And so it was very enjoyable. My mom and I had a very fun time and we were cracking up over the amount of cards that I got for these life milestones that haven't even happened yet. But the wedding cards I'll definitely use this year. We have like three weddings before, or four weddings before the end of the year. And so that's gonna be a huge help to just have those already and not have to, you know, go out and get some before these things happen. So yeah, um, now I'm gonna finish up my write-offs. I'm more than halfway through. I thought it was gonna take a lot longer and it just hasn't. Um, I also wanna get my toes done. But Polly asked me if I wanted to go and meet him and his friends at a bar. <laughs> so they played golf and now they're just like hanging out and chilling and I want to go and hang out with him and maybe I'll get my pedicure done like later tonight because they think they're open until like six. So maybe I'll just make like a 5 p.m. appointment and get it in later today because it's like three. Yeah, it's like 3 p.m. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go probably meet Polly and friends and I'm probably gonna wear this. You guys probably have noticed that I'm wearing my new Adenola set. I did want to work out, but maybe that's also something that I'll do later tonight, but this is everything. This entire set is a dream. I love the sweatshirt. I got this in an extra large, just so you guys know for size reference. Usually I get a medium or a large in the hoodies, but in the crew necks, I like to go really oversized. So this is an XL. My leggings are a size small. And then my sports bra is a size small and it fits incredibly. I can't even, I just, I love them so much. I can't explain it to you guys, but if you ever want to shop at Anola and you have like questions about sizing or like what size you should get for how you want it to fit, just let me know in the comments because I consider myself an expert at this point. Hey, my neighbor was just outside, so we had to wait to vlog because obviously this is very strange to do in the suburbs. It's not like New York City where you could just do whatever you want and there's always someone doing something more strange than you are, but I am dressed like a tree. <laughs> I have my Adenola crew neck on still. Then we have our little trench coat from One Mile. Sunglasses are YSL. Earrings are made well. I don't know why I'm giving you guys <laughs> an outfit check right now, but I'm on my way to Polly's house to make a carrot cake, which I'm super excited about because I've never made one before. I don't like carrot cake, but I will be happy to make one. So we're gonna go to the grocery store and everything. And yeah, so that'll be fun. It's a gorgeous day out. So I'm excited to like get this sunroof open and we're gonna have a nice little drive. I brought my little water cup with me. And yeah, we're finally having a spring day, which I'm so excited about. And I'm just like looking forward to this weather. But I did not even mention to you guys that this is Easter weekend. So tomorrow we're actually going to spend it with my sister's new husband's family. And I'm so excited because it's her brother-in-law and they just bought a house and you guys know how nosy I am and how much I love like home stuff. So I'm excited to see their space and like, you know, just spend some time with them. And so I think I'm going to end off the vlog here because tomorrow's just going to be like a full on family day. So thank you guys so much for watching. I am so happy to be vlogging in this new season. I feel very happy and inspired and just like there are really great things coming. So make sure you guys don't forget to subscribe. I hope to see you all in my next video and we'll pick back up in New York City. So I will see you all soon.